Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Top 5 Friday. Um, I'm going to need your help to keep this series running this time. I got burned out on it last time. I'll probably end up doing a series, uh, I'll do a do recording uh, all in one or two days and set up kind of like a seasons kind of thing. So consider this season two of Top 5 Friday. We're coming back and today we are talking about my top five favorite Shudder movies. Uh, so right off the bat, um, the first one we're going to get out of the way as an honorable mention because everybody and their mama talking about this. So this is te technically number six, which is Host. It's a fantastic uh, movie shot completely with Zoom or whatever they used. It's great. Everybody seems to like it. There's a couple outliers that don't like it, but that's number six. I don't want to talk about Host here because I want to focus on hidden gems that I found. So that's number honorable mention. At number five, we have Daniel Isn't Real. Um, this was a wild ride. You don't see movies like this anymore, and this is why I love Shudder now. Shudder wasn't always this good. You had to, They had to start somewhere. Uh, it was usually old, cheesy horror movies, the crappiest of the bunch that they could get their hands on. Nowadays, they're producing their own content, and they're getting other great content in. And Daniel Isn't Real that's one of those stories that you just will not find outside of Shudder. I wish they would bring it back and do more movies like this, just wild, batshit crazy movies with these special effects, with everything was note perfect. The characters were on point, the dread, the pacing, everything, and the ending is absolutely amazing. At number four, we have Spiral. No, not the uh, Saw reboot that's coming from Chris Rock, uh, but it's a, a LGBTQIA... Um, themed horror story about this uh, couple with a kid move into this town and weird cult shits going on. Um, I love the representation in this movie and I, I just love seeing a, a just a, this regular family fall into this this ugly trap. It it there was a lot of stuff. I don't want to say hereditary, but I'm going to. It's like a it's, it's not really a mixture, but it had the tone of hereditary and say something, I don't know, not disturbia, but there's something else that uh, this makes me think of. And I, I can't, I completely skip my mind. If I remember it, I'll get to it. But, uh, this is a hidden gem for me. Um, and most people, it kind of flew underneath the radar because most people at, that are talking about it are confused with this one that's on shutter. And, um, the one that's coming from Chris Rock, the new uh, Saw reboot. But uh, yeah, this one, th this one really spoke to me. It was a fantastic story. Um, the the tension really ramps up, and the ending's phenomenal. Um, I really liked what they did. It's very sad, very upsetting, very topical for today's times. But yeah, um, it, I haven't seen anything quite like this one, but I kind of have. You know, it just does enough different that it is its own thing. Next up, we have Z. Um, there are going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of movies on this list that most people don't like, especially the top two. Um, uh, for some odd reason, I have, I have a different opinion of horror than most people, and I think that's why a lot of people come to check out this channel, because uh, my opinions differ so much, especially in like Stephen King books, man. I don't, I don't like the, the biggest, most popular ones, but then again, some of them I do. Uh, Z is a story about a, an imaginary friend that goes all different kinds of wacky places. I, I say wacky, but it, it's a really, really good horror uh horror story and it went some places I didn't expect whatsoever. The acting in this one was phenomenal. Um, it's one of those it's one of those stories that uh, kind of tricks you with who let's say who the main character is or what the main issue is and then it breaks down from this bigger environment to this much smaller more isolated environment and it, just, it hit all the right notes for me the directing is impeccable I really really liked it and this is only my opinion I've, I've read reviews from people who didn't like it I don't quite understand their their point of view so if you'd like to tell me why you don't like it that's fine but yeah this is number three it is z next up we have a film i think it's by the same director probably should have looked this up before uh, i got started here but uh it is still slash born so still born um, it opens up with, so, uh, content warnings for, uh, stillborn, mis miscarriage, that kind of thing. Um, 
uh, more so stillborn because uh, the baby is born still stillborn. That's the very beginning of of the the movie. There there was uh, there was some really upsetting stuff in this one, and I think the reason why I I, I think the reason why I liked it so much is because it upset me so bad. The characters were so well done. Everything got underneath my skin, and then you, by by the end of the movie, you're just script. Well, I was I was just yelling at the screen. Um, I was like, no, 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 you know, that kind of thing. And the movie brought out a visceral reaction for me, which, I mean, what else could you ask for? I, I honestly, I honestly don't know. It's just, I, but maybe, maybe there was a little bit of bias there because, you know, I have some history with this topic, um, which upset me also, but there were certain scenes like in the nursery or in the crib that those scenes were really, truly haunting and horrifying. And to, to watch this husband, watch his wife, maybe, maybe not go just utter, utterly insane after this. Um, I thought that dynamic was perfect. Okay. Last but not least, it's probably one of the most hated movies on Shudder and I'm not really going to plead my case. I'm just going to tell you why I liked it. And if you don't like it, that's fine, but it's Sam was here. Uh, I've never seen anything like this movie. Um, I've never seen, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a journey through hell. Um, maybe even, you know, figuratively and literally, uh, this one guy, uh, realizes that damn near everybody sane has fallen off the face of the planet and it's nothing but killers left and they're all hunting him. And the whole time there's this radio station broadcasting, um, saying where he is sent, you know, information that they shouldn't have. And when it is the, here's the reason why I love it so much. There's a reveal on who the DJ is. And it was unexpected, and it was the the actor who played this character absolutely nailed it. And you never see his face. I just I I, I don't. It's it's an amazing concept. I love the way it ended. Um, a lot of people were upset. Um, felt that you know it didn't do enough. Uh, it is also a very very short movie. So, but uh, that's that's my number one pick for this, uh, for, for this shutter. Uh, the more I think about it, the more I've sat on this, uh, Wayne Fenlon, uh, asked for this top five Friday ages ago. I think way back when I was still doing top five Friday. Um, it's been a long time. Um, so Wayne, this one's for you, buddy. Um, and I've been thinking about all these movies. I watched these movies last year and I've been thinking about what really stood out for me. And these are the films that really stood out to me. So if you would like to let me know what films stand out for you on Shudder, uh, put them down there in the doobly-doo. Hopefully I haven't seen them so I can go check out some new stuff. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been Top 5 Friday. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.